The Crossing Arts Alliance in Brainerd's latest exhibition features two Minnesota artists. The exhibition Oil and Water explores the differences between rich and textured oil paintings and delicate watercolor paintings. For this week's In Focus, Sammy Holiday has more. Oil and water do not mix, but the Crossing Arts Alliance found a way to. The latest exhibition features the work of two Minnesota artists in two different mediums. Both oil and watercolor paintings can be appreciated and require different techniques to get right. To help people understand the difference between an oil painting and a watercolor and the kinds of depth and texture and colorations you can get with each format, we thought that that would look really well together. That's how the show came about. Oil and water, you know, they mix, they don't mix, so we just thought that was a fun, fun title to work with. The most glaring difference between oil and watercolor painting is the time an artist has to work on them. You can take your time with an oil painting, but with watercolors, it is essential to have your idea planned out. In oil, you can start with a base and put the color down, and if you don't like it, you can let it dry maybe for a while and, and do it over. A watercolor is a one-shot. You put the water on the paper, you decide what colors you're going to use, you put the pigment down on the paper, and watercolor is built up by layer. Apple Valley artist David Linner was not able to attend the opening reception, but Laporte artist Darcy Brambrink was able to give a trained eyes perspective on Linner's work. He's got a lot of structure in his work. He's got a lot of texture. You can see if there is a shoreline or a tree line or something. He's got uh, texture and color in that so that you know that it's either far away or it's in front. He's very good at doing that. So I like his watercolors. I think he does a very good job. Brambrink describes herself as a landscape artist and gets inspiration by taking a deeper look into the nature that inspires her paintings. When I'm in a boat fishing, or if we're out in the woods for a walk or something, I am paying attention to the light of the day, the colors of the trees. Um, it, it sticks in my head. So that's what motivates me, is all that coming together. And a lot of people don't see that. Reporting in Brainer with this week's In Focus, Sammy Holiday, Lakeland News. The oil and water exhibition will be on display until April 6th. Both artists will host workshops at Crossing Arts. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.